Thank you, James. Yes, we do indeed have Maui raising the abnormality level of this bar drastically. I agree. Excuse me? Yeah, he what? couldn't hear James. What did right he say? There, what did he so say? To he me? didn't understand how to toss. <laughs> <laughs> Only I could hear, so I could just make up whatever shit I want. Why do you like foam so much, Maui? Foam? It's it's because if you if you <laughs> pour the beer on the side like a noob, everyone's like, oh, it's more beer, but it's like honestly, all the carbonation that's at the top in the head goes just d directly in your stomach, and you get all farted and bloaty. So I'm not trying to get like that. I don't want to <laughs> fart on broadcast. I don't know about you guys, because you guys pour that on the side like of your bullshit. cup. That sounds like bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's science. <laughs> it's science. It's science. It, is, like it is science. Bullshit. It's science. So Look it up. I, Look it all up. I'm going to say is I don't usually have gas problems when I drink beer, and I don't consume that if much If you foam. drink as, as little beer as you did last blind spot, that makes sense. <laughs> I drank right a whole pint. There. I drank a whole pint. I could only get so much beer in me in the 20 minutes that we do this. Right. Well, I suppose we could have some sort of contest around that, but I feel like it would end poorly. And also, binge drinking is against Twitch's terms of service. This Maui. is true. This is true. One beer, though. One beer isn't too much. <laughs> it's not. It's not too bad. All right. Well, enough of that bullshit. What did you guys actually think about the end of that match? Because it was dodgy in that first half, and finally, Fnatic managed to string some rounds together and take it away. Honestly, I thought that Fnatic, at the end, it looked like they were going to take their foot off the gas once again, but they just had too big of a lead from that first half and winning that pistol on the second half of things. They were in such a great position at that point. It was really tough for them to... Tr to they could have done a lot more than JW did in that one round with the, the knife kill. Like They could have started goofing off a little bit more, honestly. I would have I I enjoyed it, but you know, at the end of the day, they want to move on with their lives, as do we. Yeah, I think that first half was really scrappy at the start, and that could have actually gone, uh, gone contacts way pretty hard if some of those afterfans hadn't gone the way of, of Fnatic. Uh, Fnatic were just so much stronger in the late round. They were playing the retake so well. They are taking it so slow. There were several rounds we pointed out, um, well, in the green room, you didn't see it, but uh, where they would just sit and wait. It reminds me, actually, a lot of SK Luminosity back in 2016 when we were really figuring out how to play this longer bomb timer where you take it, where you take it super slow, and then only at about 20 seconds left, you really kind of commit onto the bomb site. You take the time right down as so many of those retakes went down to, you know, one, even less than one second remaining. Fair enough. Do you have any, do you have any final thoughts on Contact's performance? I think overall, it was a lot stronger than most people would have thought coming into Flashpoint. Is there a chance that they get out of this group now? Um, it's difficult to say. They were definitely better than I actually anticipated in this game. And I think the individuals shone a lot more than I expected. So whilst prepping for them coming into the tournament, I focused heavily on the mistakes of the individuals. And that just tends to be how it works when I'm demo reviewing games. But having seen them in this match in particular, some of the individual plays they're able to pull off. And even though they're playing a bit loose and a bit more individual, they were still able to get rounds out. So maybe perhaps coming into this one, I overlooked you know, how much just the individuals playing solo, getting aggressive could do for contacts. And certainly in other matchups against weaker teams, that could take them over the line. I could see them certainly winning maps and potentially even series against other teams. If we want some continuity from Flashpoint 1 to 2 here, I think that what this contact lineup does for me is that it actually reminds me a lot about Chaos, where Chaos at, hey, what's good, Bardolph? <laughs> <All right. laughs> it, it, it reminds me about a lot about chaos, where I feel like their game plans are actually really solid. It's just that in these late round situations, I always will favor Fnatic, actually. In a 3v3 situation, there's no world I'm going to even bet on contact, despite the guns, because I always feel like Fnatic, they're just gonna out-communicate them, out-maneuver them, and they're gonna know what each other is responsible for. But we saw some of those rounds break down, and contact is just swinging out wide. They don't know how to play off of their teammates in those situations, whereas Fnatic, they're tried and true. They are just so, sternly confident in those types of situations. Were you worried at all there for Fnatic, Absolutely, James? yeah. You were? You were because the, the nature of the rounds <laughs> was just crazy. It was chaos. It was it constant was. chaos. Yeah. I'm like, I, it's chaos. You can't tell who's going to win more of the chaos. But it was Fnatic. And partly, you know, JW's just constantly creating chaos, which probably helps them. But it was, uh, it was scary, but it was, it was fun to watch at the same time. But it was scary. Bloody hell. All <laughs> right. We do have a quick interview before you continue our bullshit here at the Blind Spot. And it will be Freya with Crims from the winning team, Fnatic. Thank you very much, Monty. Of course, I'm joined here by Crims. Thank you so much for taking uh, the time to chat with me. Massive congratulations on that win once again. I do want to throw it back to train, first of all, because we were a little bit surprised uh, to see Contact coming out so strong on that map, considering uh, the momentum you found on map one of Mirage. Were, were you surprised to see that coming out of the guys at Contact? Uh, I mean, 
it was more that we missed our shots that game and their hit theirs and they play a kind of a FPL uh, strategy like they go one by one uh, many places and when you doesn't hit your shots uh, it's really hard to play against that. And then coming on to overpass as well, we saw uh, in the first half, it was incredibly back and forth. So where was the turning point for you guys? Where were you kind of focusing going into that second half to allow you to actually string a decent amount of rounds together? Uh, I mean, I'm going to be honest, we felt like we had the game from the start. Uh, we are the much better team and we told uh, each other that uh, between train and overpass. So we, was, we were confident all the way. Some fighting talk there, I respect that. And I kind of want to get your thoughts on this contact roster overall. Of course, we see uh, two new additions coming in in Sphinx and Rigon. So what were your thoughts of them and their performance? You were saying there it was uh, quite heavily focused on the individuals. Uh, I mean, they have, uh, they have a long way to go to become a really good team. Uh, but they have potential, of course. Um, uh, yeah. And I also wanted to touch on, obviously, we can see right now that you guys aren't in that boot camp. You were in the boot camp back at the RMR. And I've heard a couple of whisperings from you guys saying that if you make it to the playoffs here at Flashpoint, you'll be going back into that boot camp. What, why is that? Why have you guys taken a break uh, from the boot camp for this period of time? Uh, I mean, everyone needs to go home for a while, uh, getting sick of each other. Nah, but uh, it's healthy to be home with your family as well. Um, and we play much better when we are together. So we're going to save that for the playoffs well of course you will be facing mad lions up next in your group i was having a chat with them earlier they were feeling incredibly confident going forwards of course reigning champions of flashpoint they said they could easily do it again so have you got any fighting words for them going forward for your next match i mean we woke up on a bad day the other day so good luck well, thank you so much, Crims. Incredible to get to speak to you once again. And of course, we're going to head it back over to the blind spot where we're going to be wrapping the day up. Very interesting to hear from Crims, especially because we get that rematch of Fnatic Mad Lions within the same week that Mad Lions won it at IEM. Uh, what are your early predictions? Can Mad Lions pull off the upset again? They're not in China now. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. I think, I think Fnatic are going to come back with a vengeance for sure. But I'm a kind of like... I'm a, I'm a Fnatic fan, so I might be biased, yeah. but uh, a little bit, but you know. You, you but sound think, very I mean, biased. <laughs> Crim Crim said, Crim said they were confident in that game regardless of what was happening, and I think you could see that from, there was, there was no off switch for what JW was doing, even when it was like really ropey stuff, and it's like, um, can I need our money now, I buy Revolver, you know? <laughs> so I feel like that was a good indication <laughs> going, going forward. <laughs> I think that Fnatic always powers up in rematches, actually, and that's just something that at DreamHack Open Fall, they played OG to start that tournament out, and then they just beat them every time after, and they always play this reactive style in such a way that if they see an exec once, they're going to beat it the next time. If they see a style once, they're going to be better the next time as well. So Fnatic, they're the kind of team you don't want to see in a rematch, especially if you beat them the first time. I think going into the rematch, I think the veto could be quite different as well. I remember looking through the veto earlier today whilst prepping for this game, and I was really surprised that Fnatic took out Overpass and sent it to Mirage on the third map. I think that was quite a big mistake. And judging what we saw today, I really do think that third map would be Overpass. The other two maps probably would be the same. I do think um, it was Vertigo, wasn't it, the first map? Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah the I do think Fnatic would lose that again in a rematch. Yeah. I just don't think they They probably just don't have enough no. time, honestly, to get Vertigo up to speed enough. They might play with the Vito there, leave it, you know, Vito it out, leave Nuke in the pool. But yeah, I think Fnatic probably will take it and it probably goes three maps of Overpass being the third. Yeah, it's important. We can't really understate the importance of these winners' matches because even though we will play the grand finals in every group, if you win, if you're Fnatic in your le next match coming up on Saturday, then you are guaranteed a playoff spot at Flashpoint 2, right? Because you're only playing for first or second seeding at that point in time, so it is very critical that they take that match versus Mad Lions. Gives you a lot more breathing room. I just noticed that your earring matches your jacket. I'm just kind of oh, very, oh, I'm very taken oh, with the you. coordination. You know, it, it's, it's, it's very easy when you just wear turquoise all the time <laughs> to, to match like that. Uh, earring's always in there. I respect that. I turn respect for the, the you should turn for the camera a little more. I don't think the close-up got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have a look at Lovely. that. Lovely. Oh, See, I, I prefer <laughs> to wear Navajo silver and turquoise jewelry most of the time. It's so. sustainable. 
<laughs> actually, the turquoise from this mine has uh, the turquoise mine has actually closed down. It's, it's a the, blood mine. It is a mine. <laughs> hey. It's blood turquoise. No, it's not, they are not mining blood turquoise blood in America. Blood. Oh my god! <laughs> it's from the American Southwest. Uh, I don't think there has been blood mining that's, there in some time. That's why Flashpoint <laughs> is cursed with the teams we have because you're mining on Native American that's, graves. That's what is it. happening? It's by Native American oh, jewelry. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. I, I have ghosts in my jewelry, which is cursing <laughs> cursing Flashpoint. To this have. took quite a turn, I feel like. I've been accused of so blood. many things. <laughs> I'm the Brits here. I have no idea what you're really talking about, to be honest. <laughs> You've never seen the movie Poltergeist? No. Nope. I see. Oh, oh. <laughs> Misinformed. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You, you can catch up on that. You can catch up on that. Why do we get you again? Oh, right. Hawk is too young to drink, right? He looks too young to drink. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably the issue. That he looks too young to drink, but he's actually a man. <laughs> Debatable. Debatable. He's technically a man. He is technically, technically a man. A yeah, on paper, he's a man. <laughs> All right. Let's, we, we have a little fun game to play, which we usually come up with something here at The Blind Spot. So we're going to take a look at some of people's first tweets, which I don't even know what mine were. Oh, shit. Because that was like... <laughs> 11 it years ago. Racist. I think I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember when I even started God. my my Twitter account. Uh, very, uh, yep, alcohol snob, hashtag al alcohol snob. Yes, that makes sense. What's my poison? You ask Hendrix Martini, stirred up a little dirty. Also still true? Wow, I, I had taste in so 2012. Gin? Yeah. Okay. Oh, respects. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, it's not the best gin, but I will say Hendrix, it, 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 I love gin. Yeah. And Hendrix gin for a a run-of-the-mill gin that most bars will have is going to suit you very well. I will say, a little dirty, you have to have it that way in bars because the way it should be served in the martini is with a slice of cucumber. Yes. But most bars are not going to slice you a cucumber. Yeah. However, you can try. Actually, <laughs> Hendrix had a, an event called the Chap Olympiad with Chap Magazine in London where he had people doing hop, skip, and a jump with a gin and tonic. And whoever had the most gin and tonic at the end of the hop, skip, and jump won the race and things like that. That's fun. Is the and prize did, you get to drink it? I did. I, I think, well, probably. But um, <laughs> there, were, there weren't any big prizes. But uh, I took photos of that event. I have like a blog post of that randomly. That's, that's so, fabulous. There you go. I'm glad that we have another gin enthusiast here. I guess we have another one of mine. We're just doubling down on my shitty tweets. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> This that's sounds your, like something I would tweet? do. So this is shocks. It's not my second tweet. I, they went back very early on. That's the face D-Man made when I streaked in front of the production booth in Raleigh. So that was at MLG Raleigh. I don't remember doing that, but it is something I would do. Is this, is this StarCraft 2? No, it was no. League of Legends oh. at, uh, in 2012 at, in MLG Raleigh. So this is before the LCS. So... I, I don't I don't remember doing that, but I believe I did it. And that's the <laughs> last time you had any reason to go to Raleigh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like North Carolina, but <laughs> okay. especially Raleigh. Raleigh's a nice city. They have really good barbecue there, Maui. I know the food will sell it for okay. you. Okay, already I'm in. It's Let's go. Because you know North Carolina barbecue is the one with like the vinegar sauce. Oh, I yeah. prefer it over the Texas barbecue because it's a little more savory and less sweet. Mm, not like the rubs like of Memphis. <laughs> the, ru the rubs. The of, rubs of Memphis. The Memphis rubs. rubs. Of, the rubs of Memphis is what you get in a Memphis massage parlor. But yes. Yes. Okay. Of course. Okay. Very good. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> it was the double <laughs> entendre we were all alluding to there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or in Memphis, Egypt, if you travel oh back God. in time. Anyway. This is, that is disgusting, Prius, who That's, is one of our observers. I'm not surprised. <laughs> done to That's it. something this by, random by the is way, his first tweet. So, so <laughs> that Logitech keyboard, when was this? 2011. Yeah, I used to have one of these because it had a flip up. What, so they had like a flip up uh, LED screen that was like very high tech for the time. You can't see it there. It may have been removed. Um, but it like integrated with some games like really badly. It was such a hilarious gimmick. <laughs> what did he do to that keyboard? Yeah, that like that, grown hair. He should just get a new one at that point. Yeah, I, that's how his first. That's what observing does to it. keyboards. Don't don't be an observer. Yeah. Does that especially pain you as a as a keyboard enthusiast? More the like the the chunky size of it, like the just the the excess area around the keys. <laughs> oh, like yeah. it has a forehead on that keyboard. It, that kind of stuff is offensive. It tilts me uh, to have all that extra plastic around any kind of keyboard at yeah. all, just because it just takes up more desk space for literally no reason. I, I also know, need right? function keys. So like, just give me a normal keyboard with the, new, the number pad, because I hate 10 keyless keyboards, because I use the number pad all the time. 
I don't understand how people. I hate when you have like function keys on the left oh my of God, the keyboard because yeah. it just. Yes. I've got big hands, man. I need that space for my hand. Yeah, don't need extra buttons there. What do, what do people even stuff. use function key? These like extra function keys for? I have no idea. Macro bullshit is what they use. MMO them for. macros. <laughs> MMO <laughs> macros. If you, you use know. function keys on <laughs> left hand right side, you're a scumbag, and I hate you. <laughs> Uh, actual degenerate. All right. Uh, let's see. Bowie. My mom b gave birth to me in B tunnels. No comment. And I slowly crawled down the spiral what were you thinking? staircase <laughs> and found myself mid with an op looking towards T spot. Is this a copy of pasta that I I'm think, unaware of? Have you stopped taking drugs since this tweet? <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe I should start taking whatever I took then again <laughs> that was, because that, that was a banger. Fun. That was that was a fire <laughs> tweet. That was straight fire. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if anyone Bring can talk that, that back up. Really, was, I'd be impressed. Bring that back up. When so you were born in a tunnel, basically. Yeah, I want to know when I did this. There's actually. no timestamp on it. What? Oh it's my timeless. god. It's timeless. It's, that's, it's, it's how much of a banger. It's a timeless tweet. Twenty-seven. If this is any twenty seventeen, this was only three years ago. Oh, okay. Well, you know, it makes sense. I need to see the time of day also because if it's around <laughs> four twenty to five o'clock p.m. You're on crack? Hawaii time, there's there's a story to be told there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's celebrated. That is celebrated here. All right, who else oh, do we it. have? Alan, <laughs> all right. I have no idea what this will be, actually. OMG, just found out you can now turn vibration off on Battlefield 4. That's it's Boyfriend astounding. 4. Definitely. That's his fourth boyfriend. So, <laughs> I, think, I think Boyfriend 4 is, is a euphemism for, is that, his, is that DLC? For, his, for his fourth boyfriend robot that uh, he managed yeah. to turn the vibration off of. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> uh, I really don't remember making that one. I do, I do kind of remember back, so I used to play Battlefield 3 quite a lot. That's how I actually got into esports in the first place, was playing that. And, you know, I remember when we went over to Battlefield 4, and that was at the point where EA was moving the whole game totally kind of um, casual-centric, and they had loads of features that you couldn't turn off, and I remember the vibration was, like, ridiculously strong, and any time you're just, like, spraying, you, just, you couldn't even hold the controller, oh which God. is, like, ridiculous. So Why were you playing with the controller? I was on Xbox. I think we've outed him as a console player. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you might. <laughs> it's all right. You, I learned my you lesson. You, I you graduated. Lesson came over. You graduated. It's you called graduated the blind PC. spot because we've got to turn a blind eye to that <laughs> console player. <laughs> kind of concerned that I'm the last tweet. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I feel like it can't be good if I'm the last guy. They, were they oh, really we saving get, the best for last? Oh, it's Freya. Oh, okay. Saved. You see, Xboxer. Fellow Xboxer. <laughs> 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 my dog yeah, is, is coming mining is, with me. This is this is her boyfriend as well. Exposed. This is just cringe, dude. This is cringe, bro. Yeah, no. Um, She's such a honest, geek. Honestly, this is a just in the nicest this is way. This 2012. <laughs> She's the nicest geek. It's yeah. It's really gen it's wholesome. It's it, honestly it is, wholesome. It Let's is also wholesome. On, yeah. on on stage what man's craft is, and how a dog mines. Because these are questions that I have. She was 14 at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's like that, that Minecraft meme about like pushing the beds together. You know what I mean? I, I'm no. not familiar, familiar <laughs> oh, with Minecraft. Come, I, I've never played Minecraft. Explain yeah, it to us, yeah, yeah, we yeah. Explain yeah. it. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> it's the what if we pushed our Minecraft beds together. It's a very famous copy pasta that is frequently used for other things. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Whatever. What if we <laughs> it's recent. It's not old. I'm not old. What if we kissed in my mine shaft? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. And then what? And, oh God, Andrew, please end, right? no. That's the last. This is so painful. To Sir Scoots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I wonder what the answer. That is was. such an Anders tweet. <laughs> Do you know what the plural of pussy is? He's already been casting for quite a Did he ever get the answer? He's already been casting for half a year by that point. That's, the, that's, that's in April. Scoots block him after that tweet. I wonder. You know, look, all I'm going to say is it was a different time. You know, if, if, I, if I brought back some, some clips of Tasteless and Artosis casting from 2008, it would be illegal today. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go, James. Oh, yes, yes. Wondering if I should buy the hot dog suit or the tequila bottle suit for next week's fancy dress poker turn. That is the most James Bardolph tweet fucking ever. I, I, do you know what? I thought it'd be evolution, but it really isn't. I'm no, the same no, person. No, I was going to say. <laughs> I'm exactly, <laughs> exactly the same is, person. It's still on brand for you. <laughs> I looked at mine and I was like, that's still me. Exactly. <laughs> I was the same person back at, back when I was doing those tweets in 2012. But that that is you to a T. That's amazing. Yeah, I ended up wearing a gorilla outfit, actually. Why? With star sunglasses, like star-shaped sunglasses. That. that sounds great. Because I did a charity run for gorillas in a gorilla suit with a lot of other people in gorilla suits. So I had one. 
Uh -huh. Anyway, so I know that I, I, I like that. the star glasses. That's a nice yeah. touch. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That's a nice touch. Do you have pictures time. of it? I do. Yeah. yeah, nice. I'll get them for you. Yeah, you, yeah. you just tweet them after this. You know, people no, want to see them. I'll now. do it. I'll find them. <laughs> They're out there. <laughs> Lots of pictures of me out there. I, I think we we still have more. This is this is very fun. This is the last one. It's Potter. From 2011. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yes! I always say, oh, Potter, you're so elegant. And she's like, dude, I'm a piece of shit. And now we're finally seeing why. We're going to get some more Potter Bring content. Bring it back up. I'm going to yeah. read it. I just took a massive shit and it felt good. Is that the type of stuff I'm supposed to tweet? I don't know how to use this thing. No, no, we need to do this in her voice. She's like, I just took a massive shit and it felt good. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the type of, type of stuff? I can imagine her saying every word of this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my I, think, I think what we missed out on was uh, recording us narrating them, which might be fun. I'm sure we all have plenty, plenty more of those early tweets. That, that was before Potter won all of her championships, I suppose? I think she had won a couple by she then, so by that's the face then. of a champion right there. Just <laughs> the taking the awesome huge champion. dumps. Face an awesome Huge champion. dumps. I, I felt like big. it was going somewhere where it was, it was going to turn into something, well, I just took a shit on the opposing team or something like that, but it was just, it was just about shit. normal poop. Yeah. No, she tweeted that right after beating, uh, you know, Dig Female or something <laughs> into the <laughs> NA tournament. <laughs> Giant I, 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 I thought it was going to take a trash-talking turn, but it didn't. It just ended there. Maybe the next week did. All right, what, <laughs> what do we have next? Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Oh. Yes, well. It welcome. was a bit rough today, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I like how they're jailed. And what does this person think a retirement home I, is? I like how this person used the paint bucket filler after they put the text in on MS Paint, so it left the little white spots yeah, between it. the letters. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is pretty good. I know the process behind that because I've made my fair share of MS Paint, you know. I'm glad people are, like are continuing to use all of our artwork that we gave away for free for evil. That is how it was intended to be used. That's the internet, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the nature of the internet. I love it. All right. Well, and we're going to take a look at our updated bracket next, everybody. So we won't be playing any more of these matches in our group here, Midsummer, until Saturday. But for now, Fnatic and Mad Lions in a rematch of their IEM Beijing game that Mad Lions won just yesterday, and that'll be coming up on Saturday. Also on Saturday, Contact versus Dignitas Vi. One of them will likely, but not entirely, be going home. Depends on how close that match is and how the other losers' matches uh, shake out. Do you think Jetlag is going to play a problem in that winner's match? The Fnatic and Mad Lions. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're going to go really... China, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a complete opposite schedule. Eight hours coming back. Probably messed up Fnatic pretty badly on that first one, you know. Yeah, that's probably why they whiffed those shots in the train, right? <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> the comms ended up being pretty good, but when we heard... When we listened in on them, they sounded, uh, you know, relaxed. They were, they were we comfortable. Have, we should have listened in, actually, on the second map. In yeah. To the train. The train second half, because... There's no way they would have sounded so calm. Yeah. Well, well maybe they did. They it, they, I bet there was honest, a lot more laughs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. We are going to take a look at our leaderboard for our pinnacle points prediction. Oh, it's just so Remember, easy. Remember, it is profits only. Otherwise, you know, people would be, uh, you know, people would be suffering there. So. Oh, the days. I didn't do wait. too shabby. So these are these are the profits only, guys. So the profits. Oh, yeah, I was say I've gone down here. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's is okay. this for today only? It, it is for everybody. Everything I think uh, so far as a running total. Okay. So it's just just Anders losing. Yep. <laughs> so it's just Anders in the red. He. This is a take home. The I, take home table. I really hope Anders stays there because the punishment with Anders will be especially hilarious. <laughs> so how far behind am I? Oh, okay. A, a, a reasonable chunk, but wait, and we'll see. There are upsets to be had in the coming days. Should, oh, this is profits for the day. Oh, okay. Profits for okay. both days in total. I think Anders would be negative in profits. He he, he lost a thousand <laughs> points yesterday. He did not win a th over a thousand today. He did not win. Anders, he's got two hundred. Actually, points. he probably could have gotten back up to two hundred in net uh, if he picked both of the correct winners today. That is definitely possible. Yeah, perhaps. perhaps. In fact, I would say that is probable. Yeah, this is it isn't this doesn't include the minus, does it? It's just a, what you've won as opposed to what you've lost. Exclusively, I suppose. It's just it's what you won. Yeah. Oh, it's only prop. It's yeah, it's literally you're, not. You're even. two thousand and then that mm -hmm. at the moment. This is yeah. just yeah. a take home, baby. Okay. okay, sure. So, what can I buy with that? Uh, not getting embarrassed on this show. Well, can I? Can I, can I offer you one of those? Uh, I'll 
I'll take it. Okay. No. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> I think Paul's been embarrassed already, you know, regardless at this point. You know, some people some people go back and they like call your tweets. I just want it because I don't really care and I just want a record of my life as it was at the time, right? I'm not, yeah. I'm not ashamed but hers of my is mistakes. Kind of, it's kind of like a verbal goatsy, isn't it? <laughs> what she's saying. <laughs> I, I, it's, I, it's an interpretation. I don't, I don't, I don't know it's, it's, it's an interpretation. I, 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 I enjoy the phrase verbal goatsy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. That, that felt like that elevated it to another level, though, that yeah. I don't know if Potter was ready to take it to. I'm glad you took it there. So. We'll, have to, we'll have to ask her and find out. You know, James, I think we've all had a, a little verbal goat see in our lives at some point in Who time. Who hasn't? Yeah, it's, it's inevitable, right? Yeah. The contact comms. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, we're going to call it for today. We will be back to you tomorrow with some very exciting matches. In fact, I would say Cloud9 versus yes. Virtus Pro is probably the most hype opening match of any group in the group stage. Gen G going to be playing with some of their stand ins. OG, one of our invited teams and one of the favorites. I know I'm super excited to see Cloud9's brand new roster revealed, and I'm really glad they have a tough opponent in Virtus Pro because we're going to get a good read on these guys right away. Yeah, this is a legitimate challenge for Cloud9, and I'm actually super stoked for this one. When I looked at the opening matches for all the teams, this was easily the most exciting matchup for me because we haven't really seen Virtus Pro tested by international teams just yet. They've been owning the CIS region, but C9, brand new roster, this is the perfect litmus test for them. I think this group, just in general, is by far the most exciting, actually. I think outside, I mean, being realistic, Gen G2 standings, we don't really expect so much from them, sure. but the other three teams, I think it's completely wide open. I think any of them could win, any of them could come second. And just in terms of all the storylines, you've got Cloud9, we've got Henry bigging them up so much. If they, you know, if they perform badly, it would be incredibly hilarious and all of that sort of thing. So I'm probably looking forward to this group most of all. UK man's on deck. <laughs> exactly. In exactly. Out well, we will see Montana. you tomorrow at 1 p.m. GMT, uh, and that will be 2 p.m. Central European time, also 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in America, and 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States if you're watching with us. So get up early, West Coast Cloud9 fans, if you want to see your new roster. We'll see you then. Nice!